Welcome back, everybody. It's time for Chop Chop with Chef Nazim. On Friday, Chef Nazim Khan, the executive chef at the Double Tree by Hilton in Cedar Rapids, joins us to answer your questions on cooking. And today, quite a spread we have here of grilled cheese. It's something that I grew up with. You know, I'd go home and slap some butter on some white bread and put a slice of American cheese on it. A little bit, uh, a little bit different here. Uh, yeah. Show us what you're doing here. Yeah, it, it, it is a winter fest time, mm -hmm. you know, like a like classic home uh, mom cooking style mm -hmm. of uh, grilled cheese. Grilled cheese, you know, you can put any type of cheese that you like, um, like you were saying that you like Monterey Jack. Right. So what I did uh, before, um, um, I already make one and I'm going to show you how to put together one. Okay. So this one you can start actually trying, you can, you can eat, eat it right now. Right from your cutting board. Okay, yeah. what kind of cheese is on this so one? So what I have, I have a Monterey Jack and mm -hmm. also I have a classic cheddar cheese. Okay. Uh, and what I did, I'll, build, I'll show you how I build it. So what I did, I have tomato, I grilled it a little bit so that way it gives you like little charred flavor. Okay. And then you have uh, two, two, uh, two slices of white bread okay. and those tomato, little salt pepper on the tomato because tomato is not seasoned. So you right. need to season everything. Uh, it's it called building a layer of flavor. So then I uh, two uh, cheddar cheese on the bottom. Then I trap the tomato between other two two sliced cheese. I put Monterey Jacks and one Swiss cheese if you want. If you have a cheddar, you want to have the cheddar. So then you just co put the cover right on and make sure your burner is low heat. And then you add drop of butter. Make sure the butter uh, get it start melt on it. Now, does it make a difference if you put the butter directly on the bread? I know growing up, that's what I did. Put the butter directly um, on the bread. And then I, I put it. I put it on a skillet so it start getting right away. Okay. Uh, cooking so it get like nutty flavor from the pan mm -hmm. so it picks it up and uh, make sure you swirl your butter gotcha. and uh, and then you just flip them over so that way and then you can cook like two three times because you don't want your butter to get burned too much you know exactly. so you want to coat that butter from the pan from both side and then lo you lower your heat and let it sit and then uh, you it, like two to three minutes later you're gonna see cheese is melted down so that Ready to go. I love the three layers of cheese. It's it's the the Swiss and then the Monterey Jack and the American. Yeah. I'm gonna give it a shot right now. Pardon me, everybody out there. Mm. And you have nice uh, crunch outside. You know, mm -hmm. you can hear it. And then the buttery crunch on the outside, and and then the three cheeses in the middle. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it's fantastic. Yeah. And 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 then um, you know today another another type of sandwich. It's not grilled cheese, but you know you do a hot sandwich. Mm -hmm. So it was same with the butter. It was it was in a pan, and then I drop it on and toast the bread. Uh, I would like to do a salmon uh, sandwiches. I bring to okay. bring. Uh, I forgot to bring uh, the mix screen, but um, you can put apple into that too. Apples. So, Interesting. Yeah, to making a tartar sauce or ramalade, you know you always get with the crab cake and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Uh, or jar bought product, but you know, I'll, sh I'll show you how you, you make that from scratch. So what I have in here, mm -hmm. I have here uh, pickle or, or gherkins, you know, uh, cucumber pickle. Right. Then I have a little bit of um, um, uh, sardine fish, mm -hmm. um, and then you have onion, and you have capers, lemon juice, lemon juice, and also onion. And okay. uh, so not that, that hard to put together. No, you can buy everything from a jar and chop yeah. it up. Yeah. Uh, and, and, you get the saltiness from your caper, so you mm -hmm. don't. You really don't need any salt to mix into that mm -hmm. uh, ramalad, and um, also to kick it up. So you, you need like Dijon or, or grey popun okay. mustard or, or classic whatever mustard you have. This is just mayonnaise right here. Right? Yeah, just a mayonnaise. Just regular yeah. mayonnaise. Okay. Then you just mix it in together. Mm -hmm. It smells amazing. Yeah, and that's ready. Okay. So you can spread that on right on your sandwich. Mm -hmm. What kind of bread is that, by the way? Uh, this is the white bread. Just normal white yeah, bread. Yeah, normal white bread. Okay. Uh, this is our special order bread for our restaurant. So, okay. and then, so then you drop your grilled salmon right on it. Mm -hmm. Right? And then I have some apples. Apples will give you a nice crunch texture to it. Yeah, and you get the sweet and you get the salty and you get you know, the pickles with mixed yeah. with fish. That's, that's amazing. And then here's your sandwich ready to go. Okay. And again, you want to give it a try? Absolutely. You yeah, you don't press. Have to ask you, me twice. <laughs> <laughs> you have to press it tight. Okay. And so that way it, it kind of bind it, and then. And again, if you like to add some cheese to it, you mm -hmm. you you're welcome to do that. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, let's give it a shot. Mmm. I'll probably finish taking such a big bite. <laughs> 
you get the crunch of the apples and that tartar sauce is amazing. I yeah. mean, you can go out and buy that stuff in a jar on, on a shelf at the yeah. store, but it's better to make it yourself. Yeah, make it yourself. And pickle, if you like more pickle flavor to it, add more uh, pickled cucumbers to it mm -hmm. or, or gargan so you have it. Or you can add some little bit of rice wine vinegar to make it like more acidic. But make sure you have some mustard in it. Make sure you have salt, pepper on it, onion. And also, I have a little bit tarragon that I forgot to say. It has a tarragon. Mm -hmm. Gives you a nice uh, fish, uh, goes with, goes well with your fish too. So. As always, every time I come here, amazing stuff. Thank you, Chef. Appreciate awesome. that. If you have a, qu a cooking question for Chef Nazim, you could ask us or email us or Facebook us, and Chef will answer your questions right here on the air.